Welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot and Astrology. I am doing a collective reading for Aquarius. So anyone with dominant Aquarius in their chart, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node, maybe even North Node for some of you. Um, anyone with heavy Aquarian energy in their chart, this could resonate for you. So stay tuned. Um, I already shuffled everything and I, I'm going to just kind of give like a general overview of what I see for your energy Aquarius. Um, a card that wanted to show up in the pre-shuffle was the reversed hermit. And for me, that is a card of isolation, um, sometimes sadness but definitely isolation and a, there's a sense of like being lost or needing guidance when I see the hermit in the reverse um, sometimes I also see the hermit in reverse as someone who actually needs to come out of isolation because maybe they've been in hermit mode for like too long um, the hermit is obviously it's a solitary independent energy ruled by Virgo um, yeah so i feel like it could maybe be split for some of you obviously it's not going to resonate the exact same for everybody who watches and resonates with this video but i feel like for some of you the hermit in reverse is indicating that some of you actually need to come out of isolation you know for others of you um that isolation is a space that you may need you know help it's ex like external help in getting out of um, your energy kind of shows up lopsided like something that you're doing isn't exactly working and it's kind of like you need to go back to the drawing board and start over <laughs> basically um, I say that because the first card that came out was the reverse seven of swords. And for me, that is a card of, you know, once again, re-strategizing, having to, you know, do something over, perfect something. Um, outside of that particular interpretation, for some of you, this reverse seven of swords energy could refer to, you know, you receiving um, clarity on a particular matter that has been like elusive to you or completely unknown to you so what that means is that for some of you you know you may find out about some a situation or a person in your environment and you may begin to see that person or that situation more clearly due to whatever information is revealed uh, for others of you the reverse seven of swords could be talking about once again like an internal process where once again something that you're doing is not working maybe some of you are trying to do everything on your own or you know you're refusing to ask for help or refusing to admit that you know you could benefit from external help that's something that's that may be tripping you up and that's something that possibly needs to be revised or revisited um, because it is possible that that's throwing your energy off balance it's not giving you the results or the contentment that you want and so you may need to reach out to someone um, to help you or accept the help that comes your way uh, for others of you this particular uh, the reverse seven of swords can talk about you know um, self-deception you know so once again that that clarity thing it could really be about you you know coming into more clarity about you seeing yourself more clearly if it's not talking about an external person or situation um, but yeah the second card they wanted to come out was the sec the two of Pentacles find your balance so once again um, I feel like this is balance between your internal and external world but also it's kind of going back to for example, if some of you have been like overly focused on the external world, that's something that once again, back to the reverse seven of swords, you need to tend to that and revise that because um, it's not propelling you forward. It's not giving you the results that you want. It's tripping you up. That could be how you're self-sabotaging yourself. Um, the seven of swords is a loner type of energy. So like I'm saying, uh, along with that reverse hermit, they wanted to come out. Some of you are too a little bit too solitary, a little bit too independent, and that could be, you know, weighing on you in ways that you may not be fully aware of. 
um, and that's something that you could be gaining clarity on if that's something that applies to you um, outside of that uh, when I clarified the reverse seven of swords I got the reverse ace of wands so um, for those of you where this could be information um, or you seeing a, a, an external person or a situation more clearly the way that you find that out it could be delayed so like you know let's say something happened or a person did something months ago but it's only just coming out now so you could be coming into this clarity in a delayed fashion uh, for some of you this reverse ace of wands can talk about you coming into this clarity in a bit of a chaotic fashion okay but definitely i just feel like in general with this car your energy is kind of it's not where it should be it's not it doesn't feel inspired it doesn't feel energetic it feels kind of stuck or lost or not really having a firm direction uh when i clarified the two of pentacles i got the three of pentacles which kind of wanted it came out weird it kind of wanted to come out in the upright it kind of wanted to come out in the reverse so once again i feel like you know this is the card of like teamwork and collaboration so maybe some things that you've been working on with other people have fallen through which could lead you to that reverse seven of swords where you know maybe someone else sabotaged you and you're realizing that or um, maybe that's why you just want to do everything on your own because you don't feel like you have a support system but i'm kind of seeing that you know for those of you where you are able to either ask for it or it comes along be receptive to receiving you know help and assistance because you don't have to do everything on your own and that could actually be working against you what else do i get from this um I think that's all i'm getting so i'm going to put these two cards back at the bottom of the deck though we did have the heart chakra so once again this could definitely be like internal um emotional issues that you need to work through that once again could be causing you to self-sabotage causing you to self-deceive causing you to you know not see things clearly causing you to trip yourself up so on and so forth throwing your energy off balance with this um two of pentacles here so Seems like emotional matters, possibly even creative matters are going to be a theme in this reading, but it's definitely, this is a part of your message. So, you know, for some of you, maybe you've been distracting yourself from emotional matters, from how you feel. Um, that's very typical for any air sign, to be honest. So that could be something that, you know, is causing you to self-deceive or causing you to self-sabotage yourself because you can only ignore your emotions, your heart for so long, you know, so if that resonates stop trying to run from your emotions They're, they'll just they'll build and they'll build and they'll build and then they'll come out in a chaotic fashion and you know what's the word they can come out in like a chaotic fashion to where it's just worse off than if you had dealt with it head on okay so we have that now we're going to get into the actual part of the reading i hope that that intro you know made sense to you that as far as you know the energies that I was seeing initially but anyways all right divine ancestors guardian angels of the collective what else does the Aquarian collective need to know Aquarius Sun Moon rising Venus south node maybe even north node what does Aquarius need to know what is the guidance for Aquarius Can I get three cards of insight guidance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? Got the reverse Ace of Wands again. The Seven of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Your energy. Back to this reverse Ace of Wands. So with the reverse Ace of Wands and Knight of Swords, I'm kind of getting, like I said, sometimes the I love, not love, <laughs> I typically see the reverse ace of wands as like a drain on the energy, a lack of energy, a lack of passion, inspiration, so on and so forth, a lack of maybe even initiative. Um, and I do feel like that applies for a lot of you. Like I said, I just feel like your energy is not up here, is like here. Um, kind of like operating on an empty or almost empty tank. That's kind of what I get from this, but I'm also just seeing more confusion or just a lack of clarity with the, the Seven of Cups that talks about, 
you know, things that aren't really tangible a lot of the times, like daydreams, fantasies, concepts, you being in here, but definitely not having a strong sense of clarity and once again possibly even direction for some of you you may kind of be your energy could be scattered in a lot of different directions you could have a lot of options in front of you and you don't really know what to choose uh, for others of you this is some form of you know um, confusion or deception once again whether that is internal or external in your environment I'm definitely seeing that as a possibility here um, and like I said, I do feel like whatever clarity or revealing will come in pretty fast with the Knight of Swords. Um, or you'll seek it out and you'll find it very quickly or unexpectedly. Um, I'm going to clarify these further. Bottom of the deck is Hangman, Pisces energy, more water. So um, a need for a new perspective, a need for surrender. You know, Aquarius, you are a fixed sign and you kind of get set on doing things your way. <laughs> so definitely for a lot of you, you may need to um, let go of something that you're holding on to. You may need to see something from a new perspective. You may need to just surrender to your process to, or to this process or this situation without trying to overly control it. Um, it's like the more you try and control it, the more elusive it could be. Um, but it's like if you just let go of trying to overly control it, it'll, it'll come right to you. That's kind of what I'm getting with it. Can we clarify the reverse Ace of Wands for Aquarius? Why is it here? I've seen 11, 11, and 11, 33. 11 is kind of your number, Aquarius. So hopefully this is <laughs> making sense to you. I'm kind of just flowing here. Why is this reverse Ace of Wands here for Aquarius? Six of Swords. So... Um, leaving certain aspects of yourself behind, leaving certain people or situations behind, but definitely moving into a more clear mental space and getting over this reverse ace of wands, which like I said, I'm seeing it more so as like a, um, a lack of vitality, a lack of inspiration, drive, so on and so forth, kind of getting over that energy slowly but surely. Um, for others of you, this is leaving behind something that drains you or something that's maybe just a little bit too chaotic for you to deal with. Um, more trouble than what it's worth. Where is the Six of Swords energy going for Aquarius? Yeah, I feel like you guys have some... Um, introspecting or introspection to do with the high priestess like i said i do feel like once again either lack of clarity is here secrets could be here um or just once again like a need to go within along with that hermit unless it, when it's not talking about you know someone who needs to come out of isolation because they've been doing it on their own or in isolation for too long it talks about a need once again for insight a need for guidance and with the high priestess being here i'm strongly seeing that so uh, with the high priestess and the six of swords it could definitely be that you actually need to do some studying you actually need to do some you know intuitive introspection in order for you to get out of this space that you're in in order for you to see something more clearly even if it's just yourself um the high priestess talks about intuition introspection she talks about secrets and she talks about study um but i'm more so getting introspection here um, and once again, needing to open yourself to like intuitive information that you can get, you know, this reality that we are in, it's not just logical. There's so many layers to reality <laughs> and your conscious mind or your logical mind will only get you so far before you hit like a glass ceiling because some things are a little bit too subtle for the logical conscious mind to grasp. And so... I'm definitely seeing that for a lot of you, which is so cliche, you've been a little bit too cerebral <laughs> and you're kind of needing to tap into a more intuitive aspect of your um, awareness. What else is here? What is this high priestess referring to for Aquarius? Yeah, the three of wands, which talks about foresight um, looking to the future. Some of you may be, it, some, for, some, for those of you where you're like feeling a little bit lost or like you need guidance, um, it's definitely possible that you should reach out to 
you know, someone that you resonate with or trust for some kind of spiritual assistance, guidance, a reading, um, or this could be something that maybe you need to, you know, look into for practicing for yourself. You know, Aquarius is, um, hold on, this card, Three of Wands, is associated with astrology and divination. So for some of you, especially with this high priestess, either you're already someone you know who does readings for yourself or this is a direction and maybe you're needing to go in because it'll once again it'll bring you that clarity it'll bring you that guidance and it'll help you get over this low point that you seem to be at energetically spiritually so on and so forth so for some of you you may just need to reach out to someone who has high priestess energy that can give you this guidance and for others of you this could be an aspect of yourself that you need to develop or tap into if you're not doing that already so yes can we clarify this seven of cups for Aquarius? Why is this two of swords energy here with the seven of cups for Aquarius? Yeah, so for some of you, um, how you've been self-sabotaging yourself or tripping yourself up or um, where the illusions kind of come into play or you know something along the lines of illusions or confusion or deception for some of you um a part of that is coming with this reverse devil so for some of you you were just in like an unhealthy situation or relationship and that's kind of what threw your energy off that's kind of what threw your perspective off um for others of you your form of like going back to the drawing board or re-strategizing or seeing yourself or a situation or a person more clearly it comes from stepping out of the situation first it's like you're not going to get the clarity while you're in the midst of it um and for some of you this is talking about like being too focused or previously being too focused on the material okay this is capricorn energy earth energy material desires temptation um you know different things like that things that can really uh, have a strong hold on your energy for better or for worse so for some of you the focus has been too external and i'm happy that this is in the reverse because it does talk about you kind of empowering yourself or freeing yourself from that um and that could definitely be something that kind of kept you at a stalemate for a certain amount of time and for some of you you're coming into this realization already hence you clicking on looking at this video and it resonating um for some of you you kind of weren't seeing something clearly with the energy of just like being in denial not wanting to see um being too distracted by yourself or other things and preventing you from seeing anything along those lines but I'm definitely feeling like you guys need some form of like meditation or uh, guidance. Like I said, whether that's you tapping into your own, you know, hermit, high priestess, or whether this is you going to someone external to help you with that. Um, I feel like you need a sense of peace and you need a sense of clarity. How each of you does that is going to vary a little bit, but yeah can we clarify the knight of swords for aquarius the fool and then here you are um the fool talking about new journeys new cycles leaps of faith a stroke of genius <laughs> um so once again, like I said, I feel like something new is kind of rushing in for you guys. But I also feel like after you get over whatever this delay of information is or whatever this, you know, drop in your energy is, I feel like once you're out of it, you're going to be up and moving. Like, it's going to be like, damn, what the fuck was holding me down for so long? And it's just like you just your energy is just back and you have the energy to go after what you want. Even the um, maybe even the creative inspiration to do so. Um, it's 
some of you for sure though this is definitely like your form of like re-strategizing going back to the drawing board is kind of getting out of strictly focusing on the material strictly focusing on you know the cerebral logical side of things and needing to allow into intuition and creativity and kind of like a more Pisces like energy kind of like needing to be needing to connect with something greater than you um yeah like needing to connect with something greater than you something beyond what the everyday conscious mind would you know connect with or rationalize but it's like you guys need to be more faith like faith based or something along those lines I don't really I don't know how I feel about the word faith <laughs> um, I prefer a knowing but sometimes you do have to just take a leap of faith and say fuck it and go for it um, even if it doesn't make sense but it feels right I feel like that's kind of an energy you need to step into um, where is what is this knight of swords with the fool for Aquarius But I do feel like your, your intuition, your awareness, your consciousness, I feel like it's expanding or it's trying to. Uh, why is the Knight of Swords the full energy here? Yeah. Getting over, once again, like things that are kind of keeping you at a lower, in, in a lower vibrational space. Um, but also kind of turning away from something and going towards something new or feeling a sense of rejection only for your new beginning or new cycle to like come in. So it's kind of like things either have been at a halt for a while or you're currently in that energy and you'll be out of it like quicker than you realize. I hope that this is making sense. So either you're consciously choosing to turn away from something or that door is closing, that energy is going away, and then something new rushes in. It's going to play out different for, for some of you. But, yeah. Like I said, at once going back to this heart chakra, I do feel like it has to do with emotional matters. Why is the heart chakra here as a part of the overall energy of this reading for Aquarius? yeah i felt this is like turning over a new leaf you know especially in your consciousness especially in your internal world like definitely turning over a new leaf for some of you this is um this is like a ascension type of thing a shift uh can we again clarify this to verse seven of swords for aquarius page of cups yeah so first page because it talks about like um like i said for those of you where this is applying to someone in your environment you could definitely be seeing a person or situation more clearly in the sense of um like what it's like what is revealed here what you find out it may be very disappointing disheartening you know you may feel like it kind of took a little bit of your innocence away or um something that's revealed to you or something that you begin to see more clearly maybe it traces back to childhood themes childhood issues for others of you you just something is revealed to you either externally internally it it kind of puts you in an emotional space and it's just kind of disappointing i don't know another way to put it but definitely um outside of that the page of cups in the reverse can be someone like immature um moody dishonest in your environment yeah can we clarify the two of pentacles again for Aquarius? Why is it here? Yeah. 
Um, this one's come out earlier. We've got the Four of Swords again, which to me, this is like the minor arcana version of the Hermit. So contemplation, meditation, rejuvenation, um, getting, getting into a space where you can find a peace and clarity of mind. Okay, but definitely going inward. I see a lot of going inward here. And then bottom of the deck is the sun. Once again, clarity, illumination. Um, within the context of this reading, I'm really seeing the sun as like um, back to the ascension theme. Illumination and understanding and clarity and a change or a shift in your consciousness. So that's cool. All right. Do we have any closing messages for Aquarius? Mystery. Yeah, for some of you, this is study. This is like you lose interest in something mundane. You lose interest in something. Um, <laughs> lose interest in a certain aspect of life or reality. Something puzzles you and you just have to like find out for yourself like this mystery card is kind of tying in with the high priestess to me so like i said you could you know be going to someone who can help you understand yourself understand the situation better and then for others of you you're tapping into this energy for yourself so that you can intuitively guide yourself better any other messages for aquarius relaxation yeah um for those of you who've been trying to do everything on your own, for those of you who uh, are maybe workaholics, um, you need a certain amount of like time to yourself for study, for contemplation, for meditation, so that you can see things from a new perspective. It's like if you're constantly going, 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 when do you get time to pay attention to that like little small voice, you know? Mm, where's the other deck? Uh, the bottom of the deck for that was gratitude, which can talk about, you know, counting your blessings and um, seeing the silver lining in things. The denial card, I've just seen that going back to that two of swords. Some of you, like I said, could have been in denial about something, someone, maybe even yourself. Closing messages, guidance, failure. Understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. For some of you, you failed at something and that's what puts you into this energy. For others of you, you could be, you know, holding yourself back from going towards or in this, you know, spiritual direction, afraid that you won't be able to do it. Perseverance telling you to keep going. And then judgment again. I understand that everyone has their own unique path in judgment. Bottom of the deck, acceptance, accepting what you cannot change. I want to clarify this judgment card because I want to know why it came out twice. Why is judgment here twice for Aquarius? Reverse seven of pentacles. So you could um, kind of like be judging a, a situation feeling like you just didn't get a lot out of it. You didn't get out of it what you um, you didn't get out of it what you put into it. Feeling like all the effort, time, money, whatever was a waste, kind of. So this could be definitely you judging um, yourself, a person, a situation. Yeah. Uh, bottom of the deck is the reverse ten of pentacles so fleeting success not having that um stability not having that longevity not really being able to you know have a solid foundation you know or something that you thought was strong kind of crumbling yeah so <laughs> This reading felt kind of different, Aquarius. I don't know whether that's me. I don't know whether that's me responding to the energy of you and the cards. But this reading felt kind of different from the other ones. Um, but I hope that, you know, something here resonated. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it gave you some perspective. I hope that it confirmed some things for you. And let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me how it resonated. Um, 
I appreciate you for watching. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I will see you sooner rather than later in my next video. I love you. I appreciate you. Mwah.